And here we are back in Blair Athol. This time behind me, there's a five bedroom, four and a half bathroom, stunning mansion, contemporary mansion, I would say. It is absolutely incredible. If you want to live somewhere that feels like you're out of the city, but with easy access to all of the business hubs, this is where it's at. Equestrian estate, gymnasium, restaurants, stables, you name it, this estate, Blair Athol Estate, has it and it is one of the most exclusive names in the real estate industry. So come with me as we take you through this stunning home and show you all of its features. And I think it's one thing I've got left to say to you, and that's welcome home. And coming through these imposing double doors, letting you know without a doubt what you're walking into is something special. We find ourselves in an entrance hall and this entrance hall has a few nice key features. One, the chandeliers above me. I love good lighting and that is without a doubt some good lighting. And then we have wall to wall windows letting in so much natural light, making this area feel warm and inviting. And off this entrance hall, we can either move off into the living areas or some of the bedrooms or out into this stunning patio area. So let's start where we always do. Let's move into the living areas. Let's take a look at the kitchen, the dining area, the TV areas, and then let's take a look at the bedrooms. Follow me. And here we are approaching a second set of double doors leading you into your lounge area slash dining room with a kitchen on the far end. I love the fact that all of this is open plan and one thing that is without a doubt stand out is these sliding doors over here letting you, well, giving you really an unobstructed view of the fourth hole of the Gary Player golf course. This is the second longest golf course in the world and you'll see down there the Crocodile River. So really if you want views and you want views in Blair Athol, those are the views you want. But let's, let's talk a little bit about this lounge area however. Plenty of space here, two couches fitting comfortably as well as this area rug above us, down lighting so you've got no chandeliers in a place that you'd want to watch TV. Nothing getting in the way of that wall there that you can mount a beautiful LCD screen. Then let's talk about these tiles because I really think they do deserve a mention. Really big tiles, glossy, making a room that is already spacious feel all that more comfortable, clean cut, really nice. I do appreciate good tile choices in homes like this because they could so easily make or break a home. But here we are, the dining room area, the key focal point where any kitchen really does come together. I mean, this dining room table is stunning, but really take a look at the chandelier above you, all glass, beautiful down lighting. And then over here for those cold winter evenings, we've got an inbuilt fireplace. And this is one of those smokeless fireplace, fully enclosed, giving you all that heat, but none of the smell afterwards. And then a feature wall over here that is not wallpaper. I know it looks really great, but these are real bricks inlaid in here. Love feature walls, love what they do into areas like this. But now without further ado, we are coming up to the kitchen area. Beautiful gray Caesar stone countertops making up this central island and above it again another impeccable choice in lighting is this rectangular chandelier hanging above now generally all of the lights will be turned on really showing you how glorious it makes this home look but unfortunately we are dealing with load shedding however the cameraman has thought ahead arrived before load shedding so we're going to be overlaying me with all the images and videos of this house with the lights on so you guys can appreciate just how nice it looks however we need to carry on over here, stunning smeg oven as well as gas top. We've got six burners here, beautiful oven. And I love how this stainless steel piece 
almost acts as artwork for this kitchen. On the right hand side, a continuation of the beautiful gray Caesar stone. We've got a chef sink here, which is a staple for homes of this quality. And this one has one of those nice removable nozzles when you are washing up or prepping your meals. But really another key feature and almost art piece of this kitchen is this double framed window looking out onto the grounds. Beautiful green grounds if you're cooking. Who's gonna ask for more? In terms of storage space, you know this place has got you covered. We've got plenty of under counter storage as well as above counter storage. And another feature in this kitchen that I think so many people overlook are the handles of the drawers. I love these handles. I think they are very, very nice. And it gives you that farmhouse feel in a home that is very contemporary and modern at the same time. And over here, one of the hidden fridges built into the cupboards. I love the detailing on the cupboards as well. Really nice, solid wood and that quality really shines through throughout this home. Behind me, we've got the scullery area. Excuse the echo if it comes through on the mic, but take a look at the scullery area. Plenty of space here. Another one of those stunning windows looking out onto the field. We've got a double sink, under counter storage for all of the appliances you might need. And over here, a really nice wall unit providing you all the storage you might need. Soft clothes, cupboards, quality throughout and quality is so important you buy into a lot of these homes and only once you've moved in you realize the small little things that might throw you off but not in this home absolutely stunning but when talking about high-end homes what is more high-end than having your very own walk-in refrigerator now on your way out of that pantry area if we open this door on my right hand side that leads you to your double garage that's located on this side of the home there's another single garage located on the opposite wing of the home that's a single garage and we're going to show you that so let's take a walk again through these beautiful living areas let's pass these stunning black double doors come through your entrance hall and we'll find ourselves actually approaching another dining area. Now this could be your formal dining area, it could be your informal dining area. I love how it's located right here by some of the bedrooms. And a key selling point of wanting to have dinner in this dining area are these windows behind me. Floor to ceiling, it must be about four meters up, giving you unobstructed views of the greenery behind you as well as those trees off in the distance. It really does act as an incredible art piece. And sitting here having dinner must really be something to enjoy. Over here, however, you've got your half bathroom. This bathroom includes a single vanity, under counter storage, and a toilet tucked away on the right hand side. Opposite your half bathroom is your office space, and here it is right here. Stunning pool table taking up the majority of it, but I love how we've swapped those large gloss tiles for beautiful warm wood flooring above us. We've got central air conditioning as well as these inline spotlights dominating the center of the room, giving you light exactly where you need it. We've got this inbuilt wall unit here, the design elements of the gray continuing throughout the home. I love how this has been built, but really who doesn't want to sit down and do work? with this view right here. Pocket doors opening up onto this balcony area. We've got stainless steel and glass railings and then unobstructed greenery. Now the owner of this home left a lot of open spaces in the yard as you can see over here as well as over there so that potential homeowners here can really bring their own vision to life. If you want to put up an entertainment area, if you want to do jacuzzis, maybe even another wing of the home, a gymnasium, you can do all of that here. You've got the space to really bring your own personal touch to this home, which I love. Now, another pocket door leading you into the first bedroom of the home that we're going to show you. Now, this bedroom has also got another really cool feature. This central dividing area acts as your cupboards on the other side. So I'll pop off on this side and let's take a look at the cupboard area. Now, this bedroom's dividing wall acts as a cupboard area. If you go around the back, you'll see all the cupboards built into it, plenty of storage space here, and also leads off into its very own ensuite bathroom. The ensuite bathroom's got stunning marble countertops, single vanity, under counter storage, as well as a walk-in shower that is fully glass framed. The remainder of the bedroom also incorporates that beautiful wood inlays with windows giving you plenty of natural light, as well as access to that central air conditioning system, the light all provided by soft down lights. Walking out of this bedroom will bring you to the access to your single car garage and then take you straight back to the dining room area we just spoke about. But now let's take another stroll down the outside patio, enjoy the greenery behind you because I'd love to talk about this entertainment area. There's so many things to mention. One, if we talk about lighting, we do have down lights. We've got this massive pocket door closing off your entrance hall from this outside area but let's go over here because we've got a chef sink under counter storage stunning 
stainless steel gas stove. So if you are having briars out here, you know you've got yourself covered in terms of any entertainment you might want. This is a huge area. As you can see, all of this furniture fits in here very, very comfortably. But for me, this would be my favorite area. You've got a built-in bar beautiful wood inlays for the counter that's continued behind you in this feature wall of here. The wood does look like bamboo and really is such a stunning addition to this bar. Two cupboards as well as cupboards underneath and cupboards right over here, including in that corner. So if you're having parties, if you're having friends over, if you're having any kinds of guests, you know without a doubt you're going to be able to serve them in style right here by the bar. And then over there, if we take a quick look, this is what they're going to be able to enjoy on sunny days. Fortunately, today is not one of them, but take a look, take a gander, enjoy this beautiful room flow pool going the length of the garden area, terminating in a stunning little fountain. Imagine sitting in this pool, enjoying the grounds, enjoying the Gary Player golf course. All of the stairs here have got built-in lights, including the stairs down to this fire pit where you can sit roasting some marshmallows. Can you imagine coming down into your beautiful fire pit, roasting some marshmallows with friends and enjoying a cloudless night? Can you imagine the stars you must see from here? Oh, it is so nice to be able to, to get away from the hustle and bustle of Santon and all of that light pollution and enjoy nature like it should be. But we need to head back inside the house, take a walk up those stairs and let's take a look at what the top floor behind me has to offer. Let's go. So we've spoken about the garden area, here we are back in the entry hall and something I want to mention, a really cool addition to this home are the windows in the corner there that makes this right here the perfect reading nook. You can see the owners actually put two bottles of these favorite drinking alcohol or sipping alcohol here. Sit down with a newspaper in the morning, maybe with a book on the weekends, enjoy a cup of coffee or a nice whiskey and just enjoy life right here in Blair Athol Golf Estate. However, now it's time for us to venture up these stunning glass and stainless steel staircase. Take a look through another one of those floor to ceiling windows at the grounds outside and take a look at what the first floor in this incredible home has in stock for us. And the first thing I have to say I've noticed is how simple lighting immediately turns into an art piece when we come up here. I love these blank spaces that basically dot the upper floor. Here you can see the chandeliers in this blank space right over here. You can see down and through this window down to your front door. And over here another open area giving you unobstructed views of the grounds of Blair Athol. And downstairs your dining room area and this floor to ceiling glass window really does show you when you take a look at this parkade that you're coming into something expensive, exclusive, opulent. It's a grand entrance and I think no other home does grand entrances like this one right here. But if we talk expensive and exclusive, we need to take a look at the bedrooms. So let's take a look at the first one behind me. Coming into the first bedroom, you really do notice how high the ceilings are, including when you come through these doors. I love it. It makes this home feel expensive. Really does make it feel quite nice. And talking about making a home feel nice, I love the fact that all the bedrooms have got this wood flooring. Over here, we've got plenty of cupboard space again with the detailing inlaid into the doors, central air conditioning above us, inlaid downlit. And then on the right hand side of here, You've got shelves built in, so if this is for somebody still studying, if you need a little space to do your homework or maybe even to do your office work, this bedroom's got you covered. And then it also has access to this long balcony running the length of the home, pocket doors in every single one of the rooms. And this room right here also has its very own ensuite bathroom. Let's take a look at that. Let's come out to this balcony and let's take a look at the next bedroom. And here we are within the second bedroom located upstairs in this 17 million 500,000 rand mansion in Blair Athol. Again, a continuation, beautiful wood floors, plenty, plenty, plenty of space here. Pocket door in front of me and then above me, beautiful ceilings, down lighting, central air conditioning, cupboards spaced stunningly right here in the corner, utilizing space really well. And then coming through here brings you straight into your bathroom, double vanity this time, plenty again of under counter storage, beautiful, beautiful veined marble countertops. Right over here, another walk-in shower with stunning gray tiles inlaid in the wall, rainfall shower head window, 
to outside as well as one of those floating toilets hidden cisterns but then you find yourself in another door leading to this open area right here again more cupboard space again central air conditioning plenty of windows and the sliding door leading you out to a front balcony but this makes for a perfect play area or another office space upstairs that it can service that room exclusively i love how you've got the option to utilize the space however you see fit this is our entry hall and then let's take a look at that balcony and let's use this balcony to journey all the way across the house i'm going to pass the first bedroom located upstairs we can take in the grounds here in all of its beauty take in the golf course and here is your patio area you've got a door right there that leads off to the upstairs and i love that they've included this space over here for you to utilize however you see fit you've got some lighting on either side as well as the stunning rafters above us weather sealed putting some chairs up here maybe even putting another fireplace or bra area really would be a perfect place to sit down and enjoy this golf course enjoy the views you have your neighbors are so far away you know you can have peace and quiet while sitting up here and just living your best life and really i must say i think whoever purchases this home is going to be making a fantastic decision the river running through is absolutely stunning i think we're going to overlay some drone shots here and really give you a sense of scale and the sense of peacefulness that comes from living here in Blair Athol. But we have one place left to show you within this home and for our regular viewers, you know what that is, the creme de la creme, the master suite where you're gonna be spending all your evenings in luxury night's sleep. So let's take a look at that and we can definitely get there using this outside patio. And here we are approaching your main living quarters, the master suite. Now all of this is undercover with down lighting, so you can leave these stunning sliding doors open even in bad weather knowing that no rain is gonna come into your, your sanctuary, your area of peace. We've got central air conditioning there as well as there, stunning chandeliers and a four poster bed right over here. There's not a lot of bedrooms, even master bedrooms that can make a four poster bed look so small in it. So I love the space, I love the utilization. An area rug right over here will give you a sense of just how big it is. You've got your very own living area for you to sit down, enjoy TV, enjoy a cup of coffee or hot chocolate, specifically in weather like this. I think hot chocolate would be a fantastic choice. But, I mean, you're living in Blair Athol. You've got views like that. Maybe you don't want to stay inside. Maybe being inside is not what you want. So, as you guys have already noticed, right over here, your very own outside living area, you've got an L-shaped couch that again doesn't take up too much space all of these areas really have maximized your usage of space a frosted door over there some of our keen-eyed viewers might notice and that takes you to your ensuite bathroom but we'll talk about that in a moment if we look down you've got the downstairs breakfast nook a table as well as inbuilt couch area right over there so if you do want to enjoy breakfast outside you can downstairs but if we come on back in the feeling of specialness really does continue. One, you know you're coming into a room that's special if you just look at the double doors that make up the entrance to this room. But another really cool feature is how they've used plantation shutters to shut off this bedroom from your ensuite closet, but yet still giving you that feeling of openness and that feeling of air. However, that does mean I now need to show you what a walk-in closet in Blair Athol looks like and it's right behind me. Come on in, take a look, sit down, let's go shopping. And you know if you do go shopping, you come back with a lot of clothes. No doubt all of these cupboards will suffice to keep all of them. You've got cupboard space on all of the walls. Beautiful mirror right here inbuilt. Now this mirror is touch, so if we did have power, you could touch it here and the room illuminates, making sure when you get ready, you've got all the light you might need. In terms of natural light, windows flank the mirror on both sides. And coming through, you'll find yourself in the ensuite bathroom. I love it when design elements continue and when designers stick to what they've done. Take a look at these plantation shutters. Absolutely massive plantation shutters leading all the way up. I mean, how cool is this? Let's close them up and open them up. I love that. Giving you privacy if you need it, but also making this just feel oh so special. Talking about being special, I'm talking about feeling special, look at this freestanding bathtub right here in the center of the ensuite bathroom. You've got windows lining this wall right here. You can sit in here, soak in a bubble bath and really enjoy the grounds of Blair Athol. Enjoy peace, quiet and nature. Over here, double vanity. Again, stunning veined marble, under counter storage. You can throw a huge mirror there so that when you are getting ready, you know you've got all the reflections you might need. But if you need to reflect on something, maybe these showers are what you want to talk about. You've got double showers right over here, both of them rainfall. 
flanked with these massive pieces of glass. I love the tiling that's gone on within there, that gray towel, making it really feel very classy and quite upmarket. And tucked away in the corner here, another one of those toilets, hidden cistern, floating toilet with a door that you can shut if privacy is what you need. Heated towel rack in the corner, and right in front of me is that frosted glass panel that leads out to that outside balcony. So if you want to dry up al fresco, this house has got you covered. But that does conclude this home. So let's go out onto the grounds and let's talk about price as well as who you can speak to when it comes to purchasing this home. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to snap up this home that you see behind me, which I'm sure a lot of you are going to want to do after taking this tour with us, what I'd like you to do is contact Misha Van Riel from the Real Group Properties, and they specialize in a whole conglomerate of things. If you'd like developments, if you'd like designs, or if you'd like homes, and exclusive homes at that, this is the man to speak to. All of his details will be on screen right now, as well as in the description of this video. So don't miss out, because I'm telling you, this home is going to go fast. But from myself, Chad Viveros, from the team at Private, property as well as every the home shopper show thank you so much for joining me and if you'd like to purchase a home whether it's as big and fancy as this or anywhere in between what i'd like you to do is go to www.privateproperty.co.za because we host every single home across every single estate agency around south africa don't hesitate call misha van Riel. go on to www.privateproperty.co.za and we'll see you again mondays and fridays 8 p.m on another episode of the home shopper show thank you and goodbye